Hey, what's going on everybody? JB the Ranch Mechanic here, and it's Friday, and I haven't put out a Fast Tip Friday video in a good minute. I think it's probably been a month or two, so I apologize about that. Just been really busy around here working on other stuff, but I figured uh, I'm working on this little Rancher AT420. Uh, this is a 420cc uh, Honda ATV, but uh, it hasn't had oil change in a while because it doesn't get used very much, but it has about 6,200 miles on it, I believe and uh, it's about time to get it serviced. The point of this video today is actually, I, I'm doing an oil change on this thing now. I just dropped the oil and I've taken the filter housing apart. And actually on the Rancher 420s and the Rincon 650s and 680s, the oil filter housing and the whole smash, the whole assembly and everything, it's identical. So I use the same filters. So I've got the spring out here and I've got the oil bypass slash uh, bolt that holds the cover on taken out, but we're missing something here. On the filter, there is supposed to be a steel washer and that steel washer prevents the spring from eating into this rubber and actually degrading it and I've actually seen on some of these bikes uh, the rubber actually starts deteriorating and chunking out which is not good so you can kind of see this little depression there on the rubber o-ring here on the filter where that spring has been pushed into it so that is not exactly an ideal situation and what we're missing here if you're not familiar with these bikes is one of these guys it's just this little Honda OEM steel washer. It's part number 15414-300-000. And all that does is act as an insulator. It sits right down there on the rubber part of the oil filter. And it allows the spring to push up against a metal surface instead of digging into this rubber on the oil filter. Um, this is not a hard use machine. It stays around the ranch compound here. We use it for just running around, doing errands. Uh, guests can jump on it and ride it if they want a machine hauling garbage, things like that. So it doesn't get used hard at all. In fact, I haven't even done an oil change on this thing in about a year and a half just because it hasn't racked up enough mileage to warrant doing one. And it has not really been used hard enough to, for this to cause an issue. But on these things, it's an easy mistake to make because a lot of times this washer will get stuck to the rubber on the filter and you just chuck it, you know? You don't realize that it's there and it just gets thrown away with the oil filter. So not exactly the greatest design on Honda's part because it makes it really easy for someone to accidentally throw that away if they don't know what to look for. And that has happened on a couple of these bikes from you know our seasonal guys that try to do these oil changes themselves and aren't familiar with them. They'll accidentally throw that washer away with the old oil filter and you know there you go and then all of a sudden it's gone. So I have actually seen these oil filters start to start to come apart right here on this little rubber on this little rubber washer that's built into them. It'll actually, the spring has dug into that and actually caused it to start kind of chunking out. And that's not good. You don't want that circulating in your uh, oil galleries and through the engine. So that's kind of why this little, this little piece of equipment here is important. So if you're doing an oil change on a, on a Rancher 420 or a Rincon 650 or 680, check your oil filter, make sure that you have this little washer and make sure that it is put back together properly. I'm gonna pause the camera for a second. I'm gonna get this opened up. I'll show you how to put all this back together and get this thing uh, bolted back on. So give me one second here. All right, guys, I don't have any idea how well this is gonna work because I'm severely limited on light right now. I'm actually working down in the old Quonset hut today just because I happen to have the filters for this thing down here. I use these high flow filtro filters. This is a HF 111, it's the part number. These are, they're, they're made in Thailand, but it's an American company and these are very high quality filters. These rival the Honda OEM filters. I've used these for years and years on a variety of different machines and they are fantastic. Very inexpensive, you can even get them on Amazon. They're not that much money at all and they're really, really nice filters. So anyway, how this is supposed to be set up and I like doing this all outside the machine is that I will take the cover, put the spring in it like so and then I will run my bolt through it, slash bypass valve. Get that put back in there like so. And then I will actually set the washer down on top of the spring and then put the filter in like this. And these are bi-directional filters. It does not matter which way you put this in. I just, I happen to like having the text facing outward. So when you pull the cover off, you can see the filter part number and make sure you replace it with the right one. That's just me, but you can do it however you like. It doesn't matter. So I'll put that with the text facing down. Put that guy in there like so. That way you've got your cover, your spring in first, and then your washer, which separates the spring from the filter. You put your filter down inside, and you can just put the whole thing right back on the side of the bike. And I like having this little tab up. There's three of them in kind of a triangle pattern. I like having one of them facing up. That way you can just grab it with your thumb when you take this off and just loosen it up that way. But it doesn't really matter. And we'll just push that in. And then it's a 12 millimeter socket that you're gonna need to put that back in. Get our tab facing up. And we'll just zip this guy back in. Yeah. 
And there you go. That's it for this one, guys. Just a really simple thing to pay attention to. Like I mentioned earlier, it's really easy to lose those stupid things because they'll stick to the oil filter. And if you chuck the oil filter with the washer stuck to it, guess what? You just throw the washer away too and it's gone. Most people don't even realize that they're there. So again, just something to look out for. Check your oil filters when you're taking these things apart to do, do a service on them. Make sure that washer is there. Is it a huge deal if you lose it? No, it's not. It's not like your bike's going to instantly explode if you don't have one on there. But for peace of mind and for the longevity of your machine, it's something that's really, really good to nab in place. So not an expensive part. It's only a couple of dollars and it's a Honda OEM part. You can get them from partzilla.com. I think you can even get them on Amazon, um, like most things. But yeah, that's going to be it for this one, guys. I have a lot more content coming. I just got to get it all edited and put up there. So sorry I've kind of dropped off the map here for the last month or so. It's just been really freaking busy and it's the end of the year right now so everything is just kind of going haywire so in the next month month and a half or so things will start calming down and i'll be able to get content kind of rolled out on a more regular basis so anyway i appreciate your patience thank you again for watching you guys have an awesome weekend and we'll catch you guys on the next one see ya